In this video, we present a new method for non-parametric video in painting that outperforms current methods. The state-of-the-art non-parametric method of Vexler et al. works well with low-resolution videos. Naive extensions of two-dimensional in-painting methods to videos like extending the shift maps of Pritch et al. can also succeed with low resolution video. However, with sequences of higher resolution, the patch based method of Wechsler has difficulties with preserving continuity. In contrast, our proposed method copies larger contiguous regions and can provide better reconstructions. Straightforward extensions of two-dimensional in-painting methods to videos also fail to preserve continuity. This occurs as the additional role of temporal coherence is not properly accounted for. Our method is inspired by shift maps, and it's designed to cope with both spatial and temporal coherence, leading to better results. To remove this person from the video, we use combinatorial optimization to find offsets to other frames where we can copy the scene behind the occluding person. This works well when the background is static, but it's not sufficient when dynamic objects, such as the other person, are included. To impaint the occluded person, we could try to copy regions from any location in the video. However, this would make the search space far too large, given the high resolution of the video. We provide an interface where the user can mark the region where the occluded person is visible to constrain the search space. We then run our automatic in-painting algorithm to search for surrogate regions only within the tracked window. Please refer to the paper for details on the optimization procedure. In this challenging sequence, we in-paint a person that walks over a reflective floor and includes several other people. We first estimate the background and obtain the trajectories of the occluded people. In this sequence, we compute plausible in-paintings for different types of occlusions, including people walking away from the camera, parallel to the camera, moving towards the camera, and standing. This range of occlusions, most happening at high resolutions, has not been demonstrated before. In this outdoors sequence, a walking person occludes eight other people. This sequence also features a variety of behaviors, including starting to walk, walking towards the camera, strolling and tilting, sitting, fast walking with motion blur, and standing up and starting to walk. As in the previous sequence, our algorithm has difficulties with scale changes. This could be addressed by performing a search across different scales, but this will increase considerably the search space. In spite of this, our algorithm provides results that would be difficult for a casual observer to detect. In this sequence, we in-paint two pedestrians occluding two performers in front of a display window. As the performers are standing in the same place, no tracking is required in this sequence. We in-paint the background and foreground of the scene in a single step. Our method is non-parametric and could fail to produce semantically meaningful results. We provide an interface where the user can refine the automatically impainted result. The user selects a region which they wish to correct and selects a suitable source. Using these additional constraints, we rerun the impainting algorithm locally and improve the results. 
Thank you for your attention.